Hey guys, it's Omni here with some more AFK Arena. As you can see, we are over on the free-to-play account on the test server. Yes, we are on the test server. And I did want to check out the new update that just happened. So we got some patch notes here. The maintenance is complete. So let's check out the new things that we have going on here, which in Ranhorn, we do have some more of the library. So adding the field of stars. An old sage once said, the stars are like candles are glittering in the vastness of darkness. And should the day come that the stars could no longer be gazed upon, a great light would emerge, driving away the darkness. So here is the field of stars. It looks like there is, it looks like five right now. So Longhorn, the Big Torch, Sands of Time, the Northern Helm, and the Chalice. So when you go into one of these, it looks like it's kind of like a tiered map. So if you unlock this one with, it looks like gold, um, increases AFK reward hero EXP quality quantity plus 75 percent so that's actually kind of crazy um, and it looks like there are different tiered stars on what they're going to go ahead and level up so here you have hero essence and here you have gold quality quantity so depending on what you need it looks like you can do one of 12 because there's 12 total stars here which is very cool let's check out the details so the golden chime a locked 12 not exactly sure maybe that means you have to have it all unlocked um, increased afk reward by 50 percent a hero exp so it seems like it's just going to and these are i believe are different star destinations seems like it's just going to be huge to go ahead and increase all of the things that we're getting but let's look at some of the other ones the big torch so here the big torch it looks like there's six stars total after unlocking the hero choice pack, elite heroes that are summoned will definitely match your wish list choice, which I thought that was always the case. Um, times heroic choice pack packs can be used per month is plus one. So again, a little bit of gold to unlock this one. So let's go ahead and unlock this one. So it does give you a counter, so you can only do it for 10 hours total. So we have to unlock the hero choice pack. Maybe not the best one to unlock. But let's go ahead and look at the Sands Time, which again, got nine here. Um, daily AFK reward, hero essence base, plus 80. Uh, reward get gold base qu quantity. So it's really gonna take some time to figure out what is gonna be the most beneficial. But if these are only this much gold, but again, it only does it for a limited time. So once we have this one, uh, can be unlocked after completing stage 2060 and unlocking the Wallowing Star, which is the first one. So you can add them, but if they're only going to be for a set amount of time, as you can see here, so daily AFK reward hero EXP base qu quantity plus 182k. So it is only a limited time that you're going to be able to do these or that you have them for. Even here, 10 Arcane Labyrinth quality, quantity, excuse me, plus 15%. So you can pop this, run the Arcane Labyrinth right before the reset, go ahead and get another one out of it because in 10 hours it will go ahead and reset. Not sure if any of these stars are going to go ahead and stay, um, but they probably do stack because if we get 15% there and then 15% there, so I'm assuming if you use multiple stars, they actually stack. This one is 60 points daily quest chest rewards, and then a 100 point weekly reward. And I believe that was the chalice, the northern daily AFK reward. So it seems like it's just gonna be a lot of rewards. Increase mythic and above items and its essential material quality and AFK rewards. Increases team hunt guild reward, reward coins. So again, if you spend the money to get them, it only does it for 10 hours. So we do have our, our little bonuses here that are going on. Now it looks like the, the rest of them just takes a little more, but I wonder if we complete it. If you complete, I think it'll unlock it forever for unlocking the hero's choice back. So that one is completed. So now I no longer have the timer. So once you unlock a star, you no longer have the timer, which is easy. Let's see what it says up here. Field of stars include many constellations. Fulfilling the corresponding requirement will unlock star bursts, which grant a variety of resource bonuses. Unlocking star bursts requires time and guild coin. 
oh, so once we do the timer after 10 hours, it unlocks. Well, if that's the case, I would probably just go in and unlock everything. Starburst with a single constellation can only be unlocked one at a time. All Starburst effect is all Starburst effect is not affected by VIP bonus and subscription privileges. So this overall, with this aspect of the Field of Stars, you're going to be able to get a lot more essence, a lot more experience, a lot more gold. You're going to be able to supercharge what you're getting in the game with the Field of Stars. So in addition with the Field of Stars is this little guy here, which is the Whale Inn. So let's check this piece out. Salutations, let me explain a few things. All rooms can be expanded. Let's unlock the first room. <laughs> so Rose is actually cleaning, cleaning the room. And this again, similar to the Abysmal Expedition, it seems like it's going to be an entirely a, a different game all on its own. It's my greatest honor to formally invite you to stay at the exclusive Whale Inn. I hope that our custom-made comforts wash away the fatigue of the hero's journey, warm your heart, and greet salutations. So now we pick a hero. Let's go with Rose, since she had to clean the room. Let's invite Rose. Once this hero has moved in, they will be bound to the room. Don't show again. So I'm wondering if being bound to the room, our first guest has arrived. I recognize that face. Rooms do look a bit sparse. It could do with some decorating. Find the carpenter Ulrich. So you get these tokens. So he's making us furniture for the room. New furniture, guess what it is? A maple wood bed. After a light bearer hero uses it, attack is increased by 1.4%. Tap the blank area on the workshop. Okay, so now we need to place the furniture. Enter the edit mode. Let's place our bed. You can put the bed wherever you want to, and then save it. Okay, so there's no furniture. So you got a lot of different categories for a lot of different furniture. If you want some advice decorating your room, you can look at the tasks. I also that I will have a whole list of tasks. And I did pick up these pull coins, which came from just AFK Rewards. So here it looks like a blue room. We got a brand new backdrop for the room. So we can go ahead and modify because I think we got a different backdrop. There we go. And there is our backdrop. Change wallpaper one time. We got a couple more coins. So overall, I think. Let's see what some of these do. Collection chances left. I think you can look at other people's. Yeah. You can look at other people's homes. So pretty cool, all on your friends list. And you can manage your shop, which as you can see, you can build a lot, adjust buildings. You must unlock B2 before changing the order of the buildings. So again here, um, unlocking this room requires six hours. Okay, so let's unlock that. Wow, so again, it seems like it's gonna be kind of a big, big <laughs> undertaking to, to make sure the room, because it looks like it gives you a ton of bonuses just like we did with here. Now, I wanted to see, can we use the hero if they're in the room, which we can. That's good, because she is in there. So even though they're in the room, which doesn't make a difference, doesn't affect the game, tap the Noble Tavern Choose a desired hero. So here's the desired hero feature. So who do we want to get? Chance remaining one. So let's look on this account. Is there celestial? I believe they said celestials. Oh no, there's no celestials or hypogens in this one. But we want Saurus. When elite heroes are drawn, you'll be replaced. They will be replaced by the desired hero elite on your wish list. Oh, so you can pull him whenever you want. So when an elite hero is drawn, it's going to default to this one automatically, which is crazy, because if you're looking for a specific hero like my Pharrell, you can go ahead and get him. When all of the hero choice pack draws, chances have been exhausted. Your desired hero will no longer replace your elite hero. All right, so let's pop him in there, and then we'll go do a summon here. 
because essentially if we pull an elite it should be Saurus. So let's see if we can get one. And there we go, our first elite, which will be Saurus. Nope, guess that's not how it works. All right, so let's take a look at that again. Oh, we have to summon them from here. Oh, and they're more expensive. And 4.16, is that the same rates? Yep, same rates. So it is a desired hero, but you gotta spend the extra 300 gems. Spend it all single summon scrolls, you wanna spend diamonds, yep. So you do have to pull them there, and there's our first lead, and a double, look at that, and Saurus, and double Saurus? Not sure if that's just RNG or if that's, let's do, oh, we can only do it once every 30 days? I wonder if you can go ahead and lower that chance, because that's a double Saurus right there. So interesting, chances remaining zero. So it must have just been random that we got two sources. Or I wonder if you do a double or a triple, it'll give you more copies of the same hero that's in there. Very, very interesting. But overall, there are a lot of changes. I like the whale in. Again, it's going to be quite a while that you can go ahead and play around in there, as well as the field of stars. So looking, if it's 10 years when they're, or 10 hours when they're unlocked, not sure if you can unlock them all. Instantly unlock. Oh, so you have to unlock one. I have to wait till this one's unlocked to unlock this one. Or, I mean, you can spend the gems. I mean, for 20 gems, I would even just go for increased AFK rewards. Yeah. I mean, even to drop 100 gems to get all of these unlocked. Increase the hero essence, which we need hero essence. If they're going to unlock and they're going to stay unlocked, um, yeah, I would just spend the 20 gems to unlock them all. So, very cool features. And some of them can be unlocked after reaching player level 150. So it is going to take a little bit of progression. Some of the final stars um, reaching player level 160. So, but you can go through and you can unlock uh, just a bunch of these, which is nice. So once this one's unlocking, yeah, I would just go through and unlock anything that you can, just because when you're going through the campaign or even AFK rewards is you're going to be getting more out of their daily AFK reward gold base quality or quantity plus 70k. So the more that you can accumulate and the more over time so the faster you're unlocking the field of stars the more you're going to get out of it the whale in seems like it's going to be focused more on stats and damage like we've seen with the light bearers so very very cool additions i do like this the desired hero as well because there's some heroes you can never seem to pull but i thought they were doing celestials and hypogens um but I guess as of right now, maybe not, or I'm not far enough to get into that. But it does reset every 30 days. So making sure the choice here you're picking is the one that you really want. So let me know in the comments what you think. That is a insane amount of new content. It's gonna be interesting to see just how it changes the game because it will. It seems like all of the AFK rewards are just gonna be supercharged with the stars and the whale in is gonna make a big difference when it comes to stats for heroes. So again, let me know in the comments what you think, and as always, thank you for watching.